And we understand that there's been a lot of debate and confusion about how effective the masks actually are. So a group of scientists created a new way to demonstrate that. David Lippman from our sister station in Texas breaks down their findings for us. A science experiment in Florida has caught the eye of public health leaders around the country. And it is stunning in how effective masks really are. The team from Florida Atlantic University rigged a mannequin with a pump so it could expel water vapor the way we do when we cough. A green laser illuminates the water droplets as they stay in the air, representing the potential for infection from COVID-19. If I'm an unprotected cough, the, um, the droplets can travel far and they can uh, um, linger for, for minutes. They can reach 12 feet in about a minute and a half. But a simple bandana covering limits that to three feet. But one of the professors who led the study told me the cotton mask your cousin might make or the kind that you can get at the store can cut that distance down to just inches. The stitch mask performed quite well in terms of not having anything leak through the mask, you know, when you, when you cough. Leaders with NetHealth say they see more people wearing masks these days, with Governor Abbott and the White House now promoting them. Public health has not done a great uh, job at messaging this. Uh, initially, we said don't wear a mask. That was because we needed PPE in our hospitals. Uh, now that they are readily available and that a cloth mask can, can substitute for like a procedure mask or an N95 respirator, um, now the message uh, needs to be cleaned up and, and people need to understand that it is effective. Russell Hopkins said the number of positive cases will keep going up and faster unless more people wear masks in public. And that's what I fear is that without mask wearing, we're going to go back to, uh, it, it will be a self-imposed lockdown uh, if, if we don't get a statewide order. So he hopes these simulations will encourage people to spread awareness about masks instead of spreading the virus. Like a good mask, we've got you covered. David Lipman, CBS 19.